Today we're here on Sunken's account to test out what he says is one of the most OP arena offenses in the entire game. It's not a free to play offense, but the OP ones never, and he's got a lot of stuff on this account. Jeez, lots and lots and lots of, okay, lots and lots of LD5s too. The unit that we're looking for is right here, Hanwul, the Light Art Master, and his skill 3 final touch draws a giant dragon to attack all enemies. This attack cannot be counterattacked, and all passive skills of the enemies, bosses excluded, are not activated. The rest of the team is some OP LD toys as well, so let's see. So here's the team, very free to play friendly, only two LD5s, one very premium LD4, and one very premium normal element nat 5. We're going to take it into this. There's a couple passives over here. Should be good. Let's try it out. We've got the uh, attack power buff. We've got the defense, but you really don't actually need Wally Young here. To play Devil's Advocate, um, she has a speed lead and she also has the attack power buff. You can use the wind cookie. So let's, uh, let's see how final touch does. Passive's not going to activate. Although Camila doesn't have a defense break, so Camila's probably just gonna proc her way to victory. Camila might just proc her way to victory. Well, we have sustain. We have sustain with the Wally Young. I suppose that Wind Four Star Cookie doesn't have uh, the same sustain as Wally Young does, but I I think we should be fine. I mean, aside from the fact that Camille almost, uh, so maybe, maybe almost soloing is a stretch, but team did well. I would expect us to get Laura, but I don't know what's going to happen after that. I think we'll cut. Yep. But they're not fast enough to, yeah, to cut in afterwards or to, to continue afterwards. So let's see, and I think she's on, uh, Deborah's on double fight runes. No passives will activate. And we should just do enough damage to kill everything in one shot. Yep. We could definitely hit this one. It's nice. Unless we crit on Camila and then don't defense break and then it takes another 25 minutes. 25 minutes is, is an exaggeration. I don't know why I have to exaggerate everything. Oh, guys, the Camila takes 30 seconds and then I say it takes 25 minutes. All right. Yep. And then another 25 minutes to kill Camila. Of course, of course. I mean, aside from that, this team is uh, working really well. I told you guys, 25 minutes. Eh, Wally Young's not really... I feel like now more than ever, Wally Young might need a little something more to kind of differentiate. I, Wally Young owner's going to be very excited for me saying this, uh, but to differentiate that and the wind cookie i think that's a he's one of the best uh four stars in the game in my opinion but just speed lead attack boost attack power buff crit buff four tanky units three passives also a lot of defenses have uh decreased damage from certain elements but not as much have well i would, I would say some have uh decreased damage from light because there is leia Let's see. No, I, oh, we got defense breaks on everything. Final touch. Everything dies. Beautiful. Should be super easy. If we land the defense breaks. Devil's Advocate, you could just come out of this. Uh, I know. I know. Well, you can't. I mean, not come Uh... Katarina, you can Katarina the crap out of that defense. Just the fact that it makes things like this theoretically super easy. Only theoretically. Only if it were only if the uh, the defense breaks work. I gotta keep saying that because this is this didn't stop being summoner's war. So we don't know if uh, defense breaks are actually. Oh, nice defense breaks landed. Easy match. So you see this one too, right? It's another one we could Camila seen all these juicy you know I kind of feel like doing arena on my own account see all these juicy Katarina bull did I say Camille again I probably did all these juicy Katarina bull defenses things that I might not take Lucian into but I would definitely take Katarina into because you know it's gonna be Lucian traps this one looks good unless Nora outspeeds us and provokes everything then we're in trouble
We should try to replicate this with... <laughs> we're not going to. We should try to replicate this with something, uh, something attainable. Never gonna happen. Not like this, anyway. Surprised to see this defense. Surprised to see the light, uh, light paladin on here. So, what damage passive is not gonna? Oh, he's his passive is not gonna kick in, but let's see if we can take this Camille out. Yep. And we get so <laughs> we get soloed over here. Uh, well. Nope, oh, wasn't enough. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't uh wasn't enough to get him past 50, which is a good thing. So he didn't get his uh, invincibility passive kicking in again. Take it into this. That's another one we can Katarina. I'm gonna keep saying I know I'm sorry I'm sorry, but but it's it's an underrated offense. Well, maybe we can't beat this team. All right, GG game. We can still do, uh... Well, let's see who she goes for. Ooh. Because we can still do this to her. I'm just going to ignore that, but... I mean, sadly, when we don't get the defense break, team is uh, significantly less effective. And he's going to come back. Bye-bye, wallet. Well, she's not going to die. Not from that. Oh, we should have done skill three. It doesn't matter. I bet we could cat. No, we we wouldn't be able to Katarina this because Juno. If it's got Juno or Nora, unless our Katarina is super fast, and if it was super fast, then it would probably lack damage. Yep. If we don't get the defense breaks does not work as well. Let's take this thing out. Slim? No stun. Ooh, here we go. I don't want to deal with this nonsense. Should be good. It's It still loses to RNG, or it still struggles. Uh, against RNG, against not getting the defense breaks on. I'd like to think we can just auto, but I know how Tiana operates. Definitely looks like a team that we can uh, get resisted by the Light Pioneer. When it works, it's so crazy! There is a lot of defenses that look like this now with the Nora, Vanessa, Camila. There's a lot. There's like just an endless supply. Okay, we're gonna get some defense breaks. There we go. I feel like I would just rush every week if I had this team. Here's another one. Super easy with this team. As long as we get the defense breaks. And as long as we don't get cut. We have two boosters, so we're not gonna... We shouldn't get cut. We just keep hitting teams like this. Or finding teams... Well, finding and hitting teams like this. Different player. Because they got the skin. The other ones did not have the uh, the skins. Defense. Oh my god, defense breaks on only two units. That's that's the most disappointing part of all of this. Is like the team, like that, all the LDs, right? The team is good. The LDs are fun. Still screwed by RNG. 
it's 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 still just a matter of RNG. I'm just doing this the turn cycle. I know it's not gonna work. I just wanna maybe have access to that uh, skill three sooner. But yeah, it's still it's still an RNG game. Doesn't matter how many LDs you have, it's still you will win or lose based on luck. You'll just win more and against more meta teams. Should we take this off? Let's take this off. I know, terrible. Waste of an attack power buff. I don't know if I understand why people like the wind one so much. I mean, like, I get that he crits all the time, but... I don't know. I, f I feel like people may be overusing him. But... I think I might have summoned him on one account and we didn't build him yet. Easy. Look at that, beautiful. This one should be a nice one. Molly only works on defense. Well, Molly doesn't really work on defense either anymore. Well, I suppose she does, but... Okay, we got some defense breaks. So now we just have to worry about the Molly. So we'll get soloed by Molly just the same way we got soloed by Camila. Well, we didn't get soloed by Camila. It happened in my imagination. Sometimes things happen in my imagination. And then I get angry. I'm like, oh, this thing's violent <laughs> this thing's violent parking all the time. And I look back, I'm like, hit violent brock once. This is not all the time. That was a one violent brock. That I flipped out about. Don't tell me you don't do it too. Sometimes one violent proc feels like a thousand. Sometimes there are a thousand violent procs as well. We haven't hit one of these teams yet. We could definitely hit this one. Reliant on defense breaks, actually defense breaking. We got two. So, two units are still gonna be alive. Yeah. Doesn't matter how much money you spend, RNG is still RNG. Eh, uh, Glance? Yeah. Figured that was possibly our best shot. Watch her do it. Watch her do it. Yep, I, kn I knew she was going to. We should be able to hit this. She's going to strip at first, but... But we'll cut. So much damage. So much damage. Luckily we have a heal. Please defense break. Eh, three, we'll take it. And Camila solo. So we haven't hit some moth teams yet. This should work. Uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna do so much damage with the light blacksmith to kill some moth. So it should work, right? Yeah. Do we get some defense breaks? See those shiny transmogs. These defense breaks are giving me anxiety though. Because <laughs> I'm like, we need to make sure we actually get defense breaks in order to kill things. Otherwise, it's gonna be a very, a very rocky road. Sounds delicious. I did notice that uh, lately, there's a lot of 33 speed leads and uh, wind shadow casters, though. So we made it up to G3. Seems good enough. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm sure we're gonna get attacked like crazy with this uh, with this defense. But hope you guys enjoy. No, we're not spending money on all this stuff. Very fun team. Very fun unit. Thank you, Sunken, for letting us use it. I will see you guys always in the next one.